welcome to this special edition of Coaching uh, with Gareth Potts. Uh, the Home Leisure Direct team today have been given a bit of a challenge. So we will be playing on this exclusive Gareth Potts Montfort table. And previously, um, when Gareth's been good enough to come down and see us, we've done a competition for the general public. But every time you do that, the guys here and the team, they always say, well, why can't we get a coaching session with Gareth? So today is their lucky day. Uh, so we've got Josh, we've got Ben, and we've got Steph. Uh, all up against Gareth today with some amazing coaching tips and hints from Gareth himself. Okay, mate, all the best. Shall I break? Please. Okay. So, just a quick demonstration on the standard way to break is I put the cue ball here roughly in the middle of the table. Okay. I'm going to get the cue pretty much flat so it's parallel, and what I'm doing is I'm putting the cue on the table here, and then I'm just basically using my finger as a guide. So the cue has, has to go through in a straight line, you see? Okay. I keep it straight. It's not about jumping in on the cue going up in the air. You've got to keep the power going forward. Of and it's just, just literally moving the arm here. So I've got it straight there. Pull it back in a straight line. Through in a straight line. Good break. Okay. So I've potted it yellow, so I'll actually go, I'll go yellows here. And see what I've done now is I've cleared this end of the table. Yep. So I've just got the three left down here. This is actually quite tight, plus this. Okay, you'll go on reds. Okay. So I'm gonna go up the table and clear those two first. Yeah, yeah, I think uh Maybe start with the most difficult one, which is yep. the one on the cushion. And we'll have a look at the, the technique. Okay. Clear the reds. I have. I, I think here, the two, the, the the three balls that are in the bottom end of the table. I think we're going to maybe try and try and clear yep. first. Okay. So maybe the one over here. Yeah. And you've got to think not only about potting this ball, but what we're going to do afterwards. And if the yep. cue ball's here, it's quite tricky afterwards. So I think we need to play this with a bit of pace and get the cue ball out into the middle of the table to give us a few options. Okay. Good shot. Pretty much perfect on the one in the middle. And then if it's not too hard and we leave the cue ball somewhere here, we've got an option of this one. And actually this is the most difficult ball that actually goes into here. So anywhere here. Yep. So I think now we're going to have to try and Take the most difficult one. And then afterwards, hopefully, the cue ball is just going to run through to somewhere on the handprint for this one next. It's always about planning the shots in advance. Good shot. There we go. I think we can just. Can we just get past? Yeah, just get past. Hopefully try and put the doubles into practice here. Okay. So if I wanted to snooker you yeah. after this next shot. Yeah. Well, that's actually, this is probably the perfect scenario for you to be able to snook them here because the two balls that are here, if you can see 
if you were to just hit the one in the middle yep. and leave the cue ball where this ball is, I'm going to be snookered in a, in a pretty tight place there. Right, yeah. So I think this is probably the perfect time for you, to, for you to play the snooker. So I would say either pop this ball first yep. and then play the snooker or just play directly now and hit the ball in the middle. Try yeah. to pop first. Okay. Yeah. It's actually got a bit of both there. So if you wanted to play a direct shot now with uh, Swerve, yeah. how would you go about doing that? Right, well, this, this is like the more advanced stage of playing pool where you play a Swerve shot. So, as we know, when we're playing with bottom spin, we hit the cue ball at the bottom. Yeah. When we want to play with top spin, we hit the cue ball at the top. When we want to stop the ball dead, we hit the cue ball in the middle. When we want to play with side spin, we hit the cue ball to the extreme side that we want to play. Now it's a similar thing when we play what they call the masse shot. So as you can see here, I'm snookered. Yes. So I want to hit the ball on the right hand side to make the cue ball arc into the middle of the table and hopefully come round and hit the yellow. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to strike down onto the cue ball yep. with some right hand side. So in effect, you'll be able to see the, the spin of the, of the dots and you'll hopefully be able to see the ball arc around. So what I'm doing is raising the butt of the cue, so I'm striking down. But now I'm not only striking down, I'm hitting with some right hand side that's going to make the cue ball spin while it's in the middle of the table, okay? So hopefully something like this. Hit it. Okay, so two shots. So now we've got two balls that are quite awkward. We have. But we've got two shots. So if we put the cue ball somewhere here so it's straight. Yep. That's it. And what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna pop this ball. And we're gonna we're gonna draw the cue ball back, so we're gonna screw back and try and develop these balls. Okay, so bottom spin, obviously hitting the cue ball at the bottom, getting it to draw back and try and develop these two balls, and obviously still keeping two shots. Okay. That's it. So you want the cue ball at the bottom, quite firm, like this. Perfect. Good shot. You know, if you can if you can reach round, yep. and try and pop this ball. Yeah. Good shot. Oh, don't forget, we still got two shots. So this ball here now is quite is quite tough to pot in the position we're in. There's one over here which we can pot straight away. Yep. But what I would be doing here is, rather than pot the ball and then end up with a, an even more difficult shot, we can keep the easy ball and just waste one of the shots. Yes. Okay. So we can develop what we call develop the ball. So we can either push it over the middle pocket. Well, let's cut it all the way down over to the corner pocket. I'll try for the bottom pocket. Okay. So you want the cue ball at the top so it stays in this end and then cut it all the way down. Look at this, it's in. Good shot. Can we see this? We can. Okay, perfect. So now we don't need, we don't, we've still got two shots. So the last thing we want is to miss this ball and then for it to go in an unpotable position. So we just want this slowly. Yes. And if you pot it, you're going to have a nice easy shot on the black. Yep. Okay. And if you miss it, then hopefully it'll still be somewhere near the pocket. Brilliant. Perfect. Absolutely dead straight on the black and you've still got two shots. So you still keep that technique with the cue flat and push the cue through in a straight line. Well played. Brilliant. Good finish. Thank you well very done. much. Okay.